show, the cameras follow a couple searching for a home. As a Palestinian, I'm very familiar with this concept. We have been searching for 64 years. Anyway, each show features three properties and at the end of the broadcast, the buyer chooses one as his new residence. The show is extremely popular and it has produced another show called House Hunters International. In this show, the buyer looks to buy a home in a different country. A few nights ago, I happened to be watching when a very interesting episode came on. It was called House Hunters International Jerusalem. <coughs> a very nice American Orthodox Jewish woman named Haley was looking to relocate from New Jersey to Israel. She wanted her children to have the experience of growing up in the Holy Land. Haley arrived in Israel to look at three houses. I imagine she had an easier time getting through Tel Aviv airport security than I do. She made her way to Jerusalem and began her search. The first house Haley looked at was in the fashionable neighborhood of Baqa. Wealthy Muslim and Christian Palestinian families established Baqa in the 1920s. After 1948, Baqa ended up in West Jerusalem <coughs> inside of Israel. As a result of this development, in Baqa, Wikipedia says, the population changed. Changed is a nice way of putting it. In reality, the Arab families who built those houses were expelled. The second and third homes Haley looked at were located in the German colony, Al Hay al Almani, what the narrator referred to as a pre war neighborhood. Before 1948, rich Arab families who had built mansions there called it home. After 1948, Wikipedia says, the abandoned homes were used to house new immigrants. <laughs> abandoned is a nice way of putting it. In reality, the German colony was ethnically cleansed of its Arab population. All three houses were brimming with Arab architecture. As Haley walked through the homes, I heard things like, she wants a traditional old Jerusalem home. This house was built in the 1920s. It's got the tiles in the old style. The arches, I love the arches. This house is so authentic. For those of you who don't speak Israeli, let me translate. Traditional, old means Palestinian. Built in the 1920s means Palestinian. Tiles in the old style means Palestinian. Arches means Palestinian. Authentic means Palestinian. I guess that even though Israel definitely didn't want us there, they really like our style. And I don't blame them. We Palestinians are pretty cool. They even made falafel and hummus part of Israeli national cuisine. It's not that surprising, actually. When you can steal someone's home without thinking twice, stealing the food is really easy. After the 1967 war, Israel united East and West Jerusalem. The Palestinian residents who remain there, 300,000 of them, <coughs> hold Jerusalem ID cards. They are permanent residents of their own country, pay Israeli taxes, are citizens of no country, and do not vote in national elections. We have permanent residents here in America, but they came from Mexico. The permanent residents of Jerusalem came from Jerusalem. They must periodically renew their status, and if they are absent for more than 70 years, they forever lose their right. Of course, Jews can become full citizens of Israel whenever they like, and they can buy abandoned homes with authentic tiles and arches. Israel has tried to rid itself of all Palestinian presence, and nowhere is this more evident than in Jerusalem. All Israeli politicians proclaim that Jerusalem will remain the eternal and undivided capital of Israel. Simply put, it's Israel's view that the city cannot be Arab in any capacity. It's as if we were never there. But the authentic tiles in Baqa don't lie. They tell the world that Palestinians walked atop them. The stones of the walls don't lie either. They tell the world 
that they were set by Palestinians who called Jerusalem home. And the arches don't lie. They tell the new residents as they peer out onto the old city that no amount of denial can erase the Palestinian creators. As that episode came to a close, another one immediately followed. It was another House Hunters International. This time, a Jewish American couple was looking to relocate to another country. They were searching for a house in Costa Rica. Before I turned off the TV, I wish them the best of luck. Okay, I want to read one more that I read last week only because it's about Jerusalem again. Sorry, are you, you want me to go? Can we leave it to the end? Oh, sure, no problem. Thank you. No problem. Okay. <laughs>